Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Why Wednesday where we break down the thought behind our workouts from Tuesday on November 4th. So let's start with fitness. So uh, in terms of our movements, as you see in the, in the blog post below in the movements, we had squats, upper body pu uh, push horizontal, and upper body pull horizontal, okay? Working the systems of the CP and the oxidative systems. Um, our goals for today, obviously you see in the strength piece, we had um, single leg split squats with a three, one, two, one tempo. And uh, that not only teaches tempo, but it helps with the single leg work. It's gonna be balancing leg strength through that single leg work, okay? Um, we also want to try and continue to develop the oxidative systems through cyclical and gymnastics aerobic work. That's where the row and the burpees come in. And then also to start to develop that mental toughness. For a lot of people who are in the fitness track, this is their first encounter with CrossFit. This is their first encounter sometimes with even doing any kind of working out. So uh, to give them a task where it says in 10 minutes, row 1,000 meters and the remainder of the time do burpees, that's kind of a mind game. So how many burpees you can do, it's all up to you. Up to that cap, get as many as you can. You can go as slow as you want and the workout will still be over, but uh, we want to try and push uh, hard right after the row. The row is a little bit more of a pace piece. Burpees have a little bit of pace, but obviously we want to try and do as many as we can in the remaining time. Okay? That is our fitness track. We'll come right back talking about our performance track. And we're back with the performance track. Um, the movement patterns that we're we'll looking at today, we have squats, upper body push horizontal, hip hinging, and upper body push vertical. Looking at the energy systems of the CP system and the oxidative system. Um, as you see below uh, in the blog, the workout today uh, was to find a new five rep max high bar back squat. And then also in our conditioning piece, we see three rounds of pace effort uh, that involves uh, air dining, rowing, uh, air dining or rowing, some burpees, and then clean to thrusters, okay? So let's see what the hope for goal was. Obviously, with testing your five rep max back squat, that was the first goal today. Um, we're going to be, you're going to be seeing in the next like three weeks some testing going on with our squats uh, and, and the preparation for a little bit of a mini squat cycle. Um, so expect like a one rep max test probably in about two weeks. Uh, the second goal that we were looking for was to develop the oxidative system through some cyclical aerobic pieces, gymnastics, and also some weightlifting movements. Um, you know, obviously the row, burpees, and clean thrusters are going to do a little bit of different things for you. Uh, and are different things to you, but all ultimately hoping to develop that oxidative system. And last but not least, we're trying to develop a sense of pace. Um, you know, at this time of the year, it's not really important to go super, super hard in your conditioning pieces. Uh, when you redline in your workouts, meaning when you go to that place where it's that burning, that horrible, horrible fear, that dark, dark place, uh, we're missing out on developing the capacity for our body to learn how to burn other fuels besides just sugars. So learning how to tap into that, the fat stores that we have to burn fuels oxidatively. So combining oxygen and our different fuel strips, substrates like fat and uh, glycogen, okay? As opposed to doing things um, anaerobically, so to speak, okay? So that was our hope for goals uh, in the performance track. We'll be right back with the competitive track. And finally, we have the competitor tracks program. Uh, a lot of different movement patterns happening out today. We have hip hinging, squatting, upper body pressing vertical, upper body pulling vertical, and horizontal as well. Looking at developing the CP system as well as the oxidative system. Uh, as you see below, we had a lot of work today. And that's gonna be a general theme for the next four weeks. Hence, one of our goals is to acclimate um, to the increase in volume that we're seeing specifically in our weightlifting work. Uh, and that's to help develop more weightlifting capacity. Okay? So you're gonna start to see a lot more volume the next four weeks, focusing specifically on weightlifting. We'll still be doing some um, some CrossFit style workouts, but the primary focus is on building weightlifting capacity. Last but not least, to kind of keep our gymnastics skills fresh, we uh, as you see there the B1, B2, B3 complex. 
for practicing gymnastics movements under fatigue. So the, the, the strict deficit handstand push-ups, the kipping chest-to-bar pull-ups. After going through you know, all of those sets of uh, squat clean doubles, split jerk doubles, um, it can be a little challenging to do those movements. So looking at trying to build overall capacity today uh, in the next four weeks specifically. Um, and that's our workout for the competitor track. Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Why Wednesday. We'll be back next week to look at yet another workout here at Steelworks CrossFit. Thanks.